She's Ali. He's Pete. This, this is, is Vega. Vega. And this is not about soulmates. More to explore. Leaving Acton Trussell and Ali's just on the phone. Just uh, see how we go on this one in a minute. Hello, hello, hello. Ali's just took up off to park the car somewhere local. Might be over there somewhere. It's a beautiful old hotel, restaurant, and pub. Maybe I have to try a beer at there later. Just getting a few spots of rain now. It's summer. So we all know about that. Yes, Ziga. Looking for his mum. She's not down there, Zig. She's over there on the bridge. Here she is. few spots more rain it's been muggy all day but at least it's been warm that's the main thing oh look at that there's some conference going on there don't don't mind saying I don't miss those too much I didn't mind meeting up with some of my colleagues and friends obviously and having a few beers but yeah some of those conferences discuss the inside of a table tennis ball so there we go I think Ali's gonna run down and try and jump on the boat can't see her yet though oh here she is which end are you getting on Ali bow or stern hmm. all right Oh, sorry for wobbly cam there. Just had to make sure Ali was safely on board. That's the main thing. Look at those, beautiful. That's good. Hi there. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, just leaving Acton Trussell, as I say. And uh, they've got one of those Scarecrow festivals on. So there's, and also Best Kept Village. So, uh, yeah, all looking very, very, very smart. And obviously the extra bit of humour with the Scarecrows. All shapes and sizes, just like real people. Oh look, there's one of the scarecrows, Ali. Riding the bike. Gold bike at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Yes, there's my favourite waterside tree. Not that particular one, obviously, the species. Weeping willow. Well, 
that. Beautiful. I say no mooring or fishing along here for obvious reasons. As you can see, a bit narrow. Another scarecrow alley. Yeah, that's another scarecrow. Cheryl Scarecrow. Yeah, look at that. Look. Yeah. All take part. Right. Here they go. Cinderella. Yeah. Cinderella Rockefeller. Hmm. Name. Who sung that? Answers down below. I know the answer. Yes, yeah, so heading under actor number 93 bridge and I think we're aiming to try and get to Tixel Y today if we can. If we don't then we may fall a little bit short and have to moor up and get there tomorrow. But yeah, that's a lovely spot and I'd we'll like to spend a couple of days there if we can. Oh, somebody's been on excellent lawn keeping duties there. Hello Sailor, it's another Scarecrow. Wow. I'm almost tempted to say very tranquil around here. Oh, I just did. But yeah, anyway, onwards and upwards. We've got only a couple of locks, I believe, to go through, but quite a few miles to cover. So let's get on with it. Yeah, these are quite deep locks, and as you'll see, they're rounded at the just before the sill. Quite a bit of water leaking out, though. Sorry? No more locks till ticks or wide? Did I hear you say? Oh. Good on you, mate. Good on you. Good day. See you later. Grass looking extra green there. Ali doing a sterling job up there. Well, plenty of cattle out here. Whole row of them. They're all lying down. Is that something to do with the rain in that famous little uh, anecdote? I just saw some sort of bird of prey over there. Could have been an owl, actually. Don't think we're going to get it, though. Except with my eyes. So let's have a butcher's. See what we can see. No, I can't see it now. It's too well camouflaged. Well... Tootling along, it says keep left here. As you can see from the bridge, really, I've got to get over to the right a little bit to be able to get round because it goes to the left. Let's give it a go. And just for the record, this is Radford Bridge number 98. 
at least it's got a little bit of width for you to go through. You can see why now. Well, that was trickier than it looked. As you see, there's quite a bit of housing over there. So, although it looks like we're right in the middle of the country, we are usually going through villages, farm areas, and the occasional town, and of course city. But yeah, you just feel, because of the surrounds of the canal, all these trees, the birds singing, can you hear those? I say it's at the moment it's what 7 30 at night and they're all tweeting away. Twitter, yeah, not that one, the real one. And here's Basic number 100 bridge. Yeah, look at a beautiful reflection there. Of Bridge 102, I believe. Oh, I think Ziggy's come down to join me at the stern. Because it's a bit wor warmer down here. And it's got a little bit of a chill in the air, I think. So he's come to join me. Thanks for that, Zeke. Yeah. Hmm. Well, on the right of us, we've got a boat, and then what's that at the back? Oh, train engine. And who's that? Oh, yeah, it's the Queen, Meghan, Harry, and, uh, yeah, they're all having a look at us. Well, here we're passing by Mainline Railway, going from north to south through Birmingham, I would think. Oh, you got the train, did you, Ali? Well done. Well, you've got nothing to do up front, have you? Where is it? Oh, it's brewing. It's brewing. Well, it's a little bit of a bridge fest today, isn't it? On today's journey along the Staffs and Worcester Canal. Bridge number 103. Well, we've got the contrast here. There's the high-speed railway. Here's the low-speed 
canal boat and here's the local jogging group all enjoying a great time on the towpath because there's plenty to do on this towpath yeah hi hi Hi, hi, hi there, hi there. Ooh. And even cyclists, look, nearly took the heads off, but just remember to duck at the appropriate time. Says Pete, of course, as he's sitting on the back of the boat at the tiller. Somebody actually did shout that the other day when I was going through somewhere. And I said, no, it isn't. It's a Canadian goose. Hmm. They didn't laugh either. Yeah, there's one of those high-speed trains, the Virgin Express. Oh, look, and there's the one going the other way. Yeah, pretty popular. It's a lovely old bridge, isn't it? One of those switchback bridges, Ali. Yeah. Yeah, one mile and a half. And we should be at Tixel Wide. And can we find a nice space? I think Ali was telling me that because it just started to rain. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, certainly a contradiction in terms in terms of the canals versus the railways and that was the uh, big fight of course hundred years ago and the railways won but now there's more boats on the canals than ever before albeit pleasure than commercial and don't we just enjoy it so much well we're creeping ever near to Tixel Wide Ali informs me it's about a mile here we are, tooting along the Staffs of Worcester, alongside the main railway line, I think, through the centre of the country. What a beautiful spot, as you'll see. Have a look. Yeah. These sweeping corners and then a bit narrower straights normally. I think there's one more lock to go, Ali tells me. Ah, River Sound, right. Let's slow us down, should we? Let's make the most of it. Another helicopter above, looking at what we're up to. Well, that's a beautiful spot. Oh, 
just swing round. Look at that. That's lovely. The river sound. And here's the aqueduct over the river sound. Very aptly named sign there. And it looks like we're going to leave the railways behind. That'll be good. Right. Onwards and upwards. Well, there's a sign that we're not far away. Tixel number 106 bridge. I'm going to have to duck my head here, definitely. Oh, oh, yes. Just got under. It's a gorgeous spot, doesn't it? Wouldn't fancy keeping the grass in that brilliant a condition, though. Not very good at that grass cutting malarkey. I suppose I'd probably have somebody to do it for me if I owned somewhere like that, though, I would imagine. Yes, more willows, fantastic. And our next and final lock for the day is coming up soon. That could be the lock house originally there. Just take the punt at that one. On our journey this evening, we have met exactly nil boaters. None have passed us. So it's been a very pleasurable journey. Yeah, it's a beautiful time to cruise because, you know, you just take your time. You don't have to avoid anybody else. You've still got to take the same precautions when you come into a bridge or a tight bend. But it's definitely very pleasing when there's nobody around the corner to have to avoid. Here we are going in the last lock of the day. Lovely. Just have a look at that side for me. Yeah, that looks alright. I like at this side. Yeah, looks alright. Getting there. Hopefully. Now he's likes the look of the cows. <laughs> there we are at Tixel Lock, Staffordshire and Worcestershire Canal. Yeah, just love seeing, seeing those. Yeah. She had a very light day today. Only two locks? Ten yesterday, wasn't it?
Oh, we have walked six miles, yeah. We've followed the car around, so we've already walked six miles today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we've, got a, we've got a van, so we're going to throw in. Oh, we're going through the Yeah, so that's Sally back from sorting out the lock for us. There was one of the paddles broken there, but we're ready now to go onwards. Onwards, not far to Tixel Wide. It was on there, I had it as close as I could get without. You're right, you got it? Yeah, you want service? Oh, she's going to make the leap. Has she got the leap of faith? Yes. Is she on? She's on. Right. So let's get moving. Let's see that tick. Oh, she's going... Well, she's act acting bow thruster now. Wow. That's good. Yeah. And off we go. Starting to get. Well, obviously, one of the most popular places, I understand. But find that. Don't know. To where somebody's moved from. So it wasn't long before we were pulling up and mooring at Tixel Wide. And what a beautiful spot it is too. Thanks for watching the vlog today. If you'd like it, click the like button. If you'd like to subscribe, then click the subscribe button. And if you want to know when the next video is out, click the bell button. Look forward to you tuning in next time.